welcome back to Julie's Wreath Boutique. Today we are going to make this fabulous flower wreath and I'm so excited because I'm gonna show you how to take this navy blue poly burlap mesh. Yes, I said navy blue. It's a new color in poly burlap mesh. I got it from Trendy Tree. My link for Trendy Tree is down below. So make sure you check that out. I use white poly burlap with it. I use an easy 10 inch wire frame. I get these from consumercrafts.com. I will leave that link. They're at literally $1.57 for a frame. You just can't go wrong with that. And then I just use these foam circles from Dollar Tree and I get to finally use this amazing rope that I have had for quite a while from Hobby Lobby to make this fabulous center. So I hope you're excited as I am to show you a new petal technique not new, but a new way to use it and how we can make a beautiful wreath and we'll be ready for the summer. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step, and we've done this in many of a video, we're going to cut our poly burlap. And I'm gonna use this navy blue and we're gonna use white as well, but I just wanna show you really quick how I'm gonna cut it. Um, as you can see, I have my um, cutting mat underneath and I have my glass um, cutting board. And these things can be found in my Amazon shop and as well as the wood burner that I'm going to use as well. Um, I do wanna let you know, cause I do get messages. Um, I only have an off and on switch for this wood burner. There's no temperature gauge. So there's no temperature. So if you're using one that has a temperature, I really don't know how hot that gets. So I just wanna show you a really cute little, neat little tip that I learned from somebody in my crafting group, Wreath Creators and More. So if you're not in that group, check the description box below and join it on Facebook. So I just took a Dollar Tree basket and just a dowel from Walmart. I think they're like 97 cents. They're much longer than this. And I just run it through one of those holes to the other side of the hole. And so when I'm wanting to pull out my mesh, it is a nice holder for you. So of course it won't work for a 21 inch mesh, but honestly, I don't use 21 inch mesh very often. I use this poly burlap. So let's cut it. So we're gonna cut all of our burlap, um, this poly burlap mesh, poly burlap, whatever you wanna call it. As long as it's long, uh, I gotta say it this right. As long as it says poly burlap, it can say mesh, it can say poly burlap deco mesh, but that's what we're working with, okay? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna cut it 10 inches long. So I always have a little markings on my pad here, my cutting mat, and I'm just gonna go in between the two squares. Now, it's really important you use a mask. I'm not wearing a mask right now because then I'd be kind of muffled when I talk to you, but, um, when you're using this, it does put off a smell and I want you to use a mask, maybe do this in a well-ventilated area. I have a room purifier. You can have a little fan pushing the air away, but that's what you're gonna do. So we need a 10 inch by 10 inch square. So I'm gonna cut some more of this up and then I will come back and we will put this together. Okay, so let's talk about the kind of frame we're gonna to use. Today we're gonna to use a 10 inch frame, but you can use a 12 inch or an eight inch. It's really up to you how big of the diameter of the wreath that you want. Now, in doing so, I get this question, do I change the size of my petals? Absolutely not. The petals stay the same. The amount of petals you use will change. So if you're using a 12 inch, obviously it's larger than the 10 inch, so you'll need more petals. If you are using an eight inch, it's obviously smaller, so you would use less petals. So that's the only difference when you use a size up or a size smaller. So I just kind of wanted to bring that up because I do get asked that quite frequently. Um, as you can see, I have put this plastic canvas. I just um, cut out a circle in, in the shape of the inside ring, and then I just take zip ties and I attach it. And this is what plastic canvas looks like. It's a big sheet and it's very pliable. This is the five mesh. This is what I prefer. I do have it in my Amazon shop, but you can also find it at your local craft store as well. So the, what are we gonna do first? So we're gonna put 15 petals on the outside of our frame and we are going to use zip ties to put them on. And we're just gonna use the standard um, technique that I've been working with for quite a while now. So I'm just gonna start at the bracket. We have wire one, two, three, and four. 
we're going to start on wire two. At first, I'm just going to take my um, eight inch zip tie. Again, I get those at, on Amazon as well. I just feel like that's the best place. Um, I'm going to go in between the cross bracket and below and underneath. Okay, so I'm going to make sure I get this in the right spot here for you. Okay, so you're going to take one of your um, 10 inch poly burlap and we're going to use the navy blue because this is a new color and I'm really excited about the center. Um, I've been wanting to use this rope for quite a while. So one of the tips I'm gonna tell you is I wanna make sure that my finished edge is up here and my finished edge is down here facing me. Because when we come in the middle here, and then we're just going to gather it, and I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm going to gently lay this petal over top of the bottom petal. Okay, so when I do that, I have the finished edges, um, they are more um, exposed than the cut edges. So I, I'm doing this on purpose. So I'm just going to take my zip tie and I'm going to attach it to the spot that I talked to you about. So we're going to put um, one at every bracket and then two in between the brackets. All right, so you're just going to pull that and clip the edge off, and then you're just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna go to the next spot. I'm gonna put my zip tie, I'm just gonna lay it there, grab my mesh, and again, the finished edge is down here and down and up at the top. I'm going to meet in the middle, I'm going to gather, I'm gonna flip it over, and then I'm just going to lay one over the other so that finished edge is exposed. So when I put it on here, let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make sure this one goes over top. And then that way, as you can see, only the finished edges are more exposed than the cut edges. So it's just another step to make sure that you have a nice, beautiful wreath. So I'm just gonna make sure all these petals go around and I'm just gonna go all the way around the frame until I have put on 15 petals. So when I come back, I will have all 15 petals done. Okay, so we're on to the next step of our wreath and we are going to bring in the white poly burlap and the navy poly burlap together on this wreath. You could use any color. This is just what I wanna use because I'm using a special rope um, for the middle and this is gonna be kind of a nautical feel of a wreath for me. So this is the petal that we're going to make. It's the Daisy Petal by Dean Michael Designs and I will leave her link in the description box below so make sure you check her channel out. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make a smaller petal over top of the white to kind of give it a little bit more of a contrast. Now, you could have it, um, we're doing it this way where the cup is going down. You could flip it and do it the opposite way. You could even just flip this up and do that if you wanted that look too. It's really up to you, but as you can see, you just flip it and you get your petal, okay? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna take a piece of white and a piece of navy and I'm going to just um, overlap them. And again, they're not gonna be exactly the same size. Um, we are not looking for perfection here, okay? So I'm going to put it at an angle on my cutting mat and I'm gonna take my rotary cutter. I'm not gonna use my wood burner for this process. There's really no need to use your wood burner and this will be much faster. I'm gonna cut these down the center as straight as I can. Okay, I'm gonna set this over to the side and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring the blue one out and I want to cut another inch off of this, okay? This is where that cutting mat comes in really handy. So we're not gonna use that part, okay? I'm gonna throw that away and then I'm just going to line it up together. And so when I use that one inch, when I trim off that one inch, then I know I'm gonna be pretty consistent, okay? So now that I have it lined up, I'm just going to do the Dean Michael Daisy Petal Technique, and you're just gonna gather that long side. Now what I'm gonna do, and you don't have to do this, but since I'm making a whole wreath and I wanna kinda of show you how I'm doing it, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little zip tie and form my petal, and I'm gonna tell you a little trick, okay? 
and I've learned it from you guys. Um, a lot of my customers have told me what they've done, and I've tried it myself, and it works. Um, at this point, if you want um, to take a little bit of Mod Podge and a little paintbrush, you could gently Mod Podge the ends of your petals, and that will help eliminate that fraying. So, little crafter's tip there. Let me know if you did it and you tried it. I'm not going to do it today because of time. But I'm going to go ahead and make a, at least I'm thinking 15 of these petals. We might need a few more, but I'm going to make 15 of these petals and then we'll put it together. So hold on. Okay, so I have my petals already made and they're ready to go. So I'm thinking that 15 is going to be enough, but we will see. Um, we are going to start on wire three. So remember it's wire one, two, three, and four. So we're going to do three and we're going to basically just go in between each of these sections of where the uh, previous petal is. I really think this navy blue is really pretty. So I'm just going to go here in this first spot. I'm gonna take my petal and I'm gonna show you. Let me move this up here, just so you can be clear. That's where I'm gonna put um, this zip tie. So one, two, and on bar three. Okay, so let's take our petal that's pre-made. And again, you don't have to pre-make these petals and do what I did. For demonstration purposes, it's just easier for me to do it like this. If you can hear my herd of elephants upstairs, those are my children, and they are adding a backdrop to the sound today. Um, but they're kids. Oh my goodness, one of them just fell. And I don't even know if you guys can hear that or not, but I hope you have a little bit of um, comic relief there when I talk about my little herd. All right, so we're just going to attach them. All right, so you're just gonna go in between each and every spot. So wherever there's a spot, we're going to add a petal. Now let me also say that I made an intention to make sure that my finished um, side of my petal was on the right to kind of keep with this theme that um, I did with the first layer of petals. But um, I just wanted to kind of try something where we did the daisy petal, but we added kind of another look to it just to kind of give it another dimension. So I'm just going to keep going through here. I'll just move these over, make sure I can have some room. And I just slip my zip tie in there. And I'm just going to go all the way around and then we'll come back and we'll talk about what we're going to do for the center. So get my zip tie here and so I will be right back with a finished second row okay so we're on to the last row of petals here and I've decided just to keep with the same method so I made eight more of these petals um, we might need a few more we'll see as we get around here you won't know it until you try it so that's kind of what I'm doing here so I'm just going to take my zip tie and I'm pretty much going to wherever the ends of the previous petals are meeting is where I'm going to attach these new petals because we are going to have a pretty good size center so that will be covered. So we're going to put one here. We're just going to start and then I'm just going to keep going around this whole circle until I have put all the rest of the petals. And again, we've kept that finished edge to the right of the petal. All right, so I'm gonna just keep doing this and then I will come back. I think I'm gonna have about a square um, between. So there's one square in between the two zip ties here. And this, about the span of the zip ties is about four squares. Okay, so as you can see, I have the middle um, section of petals. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. And so now I'm gonna add some leaves. Now I think that you could just forego the leaves on this wreath altogether. It's really a preferential thing for you. I personally like leaves on my flowers, so I'm gonna add them. But um, let me in the com let me know in the comments below if you would do leaves or not leaves. Don't you love the look of that navy blue? It's so pretty, and I like it because it's something different in the poly burlap world. Now I wish poly burlap would come out with a gray color. That would be really pretty. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a zip tie, and we're gonna go under the the bar one and bar two. You see there? 
The bracket is right here, so I wanna keep them consistent. So I'm gonna put all of my leaves just to the left of that bracket. We're gonna take our leaf and just like we did our um, petal here, we're going to make it and we're gonna go meet in the middle. I'm going to gather it and instead of doing the overlap, I'm just going to place it right here and then that way the leaves go out a little bit more. So I'm just gonna cover that and just, and you're just gonna see ever so slightly a little bit of green. You don't need huge leaves on this. So I'm gonna go around and do all of the leaves and then we will work on the center. Okay, so the first part, I have shared this with you guys before in other videos. Um, where I take these Dollar Tree foam circles. They're like 4.8 inches. So if you had like a five inch, that would totally work. There's two of them in here and they're about, oh, a half an inch or a quarter, three quarters of an inch wide. So I take one of them and I'm going to show you, I soften the edges. So here's the side that I haven't done. It's the three-fourths of an inch and I get rid of this hard edge and so what I do and I'm not going to do it on camera here because it can get really loud but you're just going to go through the edges very carefully with a knife be very careful on this part okay maybe wear some protective gloves if you want but you're just going to go through and just kind of take off a little bit of the edge so then what I do because you can see like a little bit of black here I take a um, sanding block and I just I literally just sand it down until I get the smooth edge that I want. So I'm gonna finish this back up and then I'll come back and we'll start on the middle. Let's put this together. I have it about the way I want it. It's not perfect. All sides are not, you know, equal here. So that's okay. Um, I've got some pins. I have some um, uh, felt and I'm gonna get out my glue gun here and bring it over. And um, the glue I'm gonna use is actually, let me show you guys, is, I know this is a bad picture, it's Gorilla Glue Sticks. And it's just a little bit, um, it bonds better to things a little bit better than normal and it's for all temperature glue sticks or glue guns. So I just like it, I, that's what I prefer to use at this point and I use both. Um, but if I'm gonna do a middle, I tend to use um, the Gorilla Glue Stick. So I'm gonna take my rope and in the middle, I'm going to add a little bit of glue in the center here. And I'm gonna take a little pen here. And this still has the um, tape on the end, but we're gonna cover that up. So let me find a pen. And I just like to kind of secure it. If I have, if, if, the, if the rope is big enough that I can cover it pretty easily, I'm going to add a pen. Oops, okay. Try not to burn my fingers because I don't have my little fingertips on. Okay, all the way in there. Use my scissors. Okay, just to kind of help get this started some of that glue out of here. So all we're gonna do, and you've seen me do this in other videos, we're just gonna go in a circular motion until we're done at this. We're just gonna keep adding a little bit of glue, add the rope around it. So right here, I wanna go over top of that one because it's got tape on it, and I wanna cover that pen. So, and this is just gonna take you a little bit of time because you're just gonna sit here and you're just gonna hold it. All right, so all I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna Keep this together. I'm gonna to add a little bit of glue. I'm pressing in on it. I'm gonna go around. And this is rope that you can find at Hobby Lobby. It's actually in the ribbon section where they have the ribbon and the mesh. Got some more glue here, let me, let me maybe turn this around. And so um, it's, it says it's $7.99, this roll does, it, the prices may have changed. I always get it when it's half off and every other week you will find it half off. So even though it's not technically ribbon, it's still in that ribbon section. So as you see, I'm just gonna keep going around and I'm going to be just holding this rope together really, really tightly. 
and it's just gonna take some time. So I'm just gonna keep going and I will come back when I'm at the end to show you how I finish it off. Okay, so we've got it all the way around here. As you can see, I've got it all the way glued. So I'm gonna cut a piece off here. I'm gonna use this multi-tool cutter. I have these in my Amazon um, shop and I like them. There's actually two different pairs, but they both have the same mechanism. And I just like, I think my blade is getting dull. It cuts through um, really big chunks really well. It's very, very sharp. It's like one blade right there. And then they have extra blades in the handle. So um, I'm just going to put this over here. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue under it dab of glue there and then I'm going to take a pen and I'm going to go at an angle just to kind of make sure it's going to stay okay and then I'm going to take a piece of felt and go over it like so all right and then I'm going to take one of these wires and it's, this is this is a 20 gauge so this is pretty um sturdy so i'm going to add it right here and then i'm going to take my floral pens they're the ones that 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 look like a they have two sides to it so i'm just going to add those in at an angle as well because because the the foam isn't that thick all right so we're just going to add a few and then i'm going to take another piece of felt Put some more glue on it. Put it over top of that. I'm gonna put some glue on the pens. And then we're just gonna take another few pens, any kind of pens you've got. I've just got these, I've got extra ones. And I'm gonna put that through the glue over top and it's just gonna help hold it all in. And I think that's it. Put one of these right there. You can just move those in. All right, okay, so we have the middle done, and can I just say that I feel like this rope was made for this poly burlap, so um, I'm really excited about it. You're just gonna take your middle and you're gonna go through that plastic canvas mesh that we put in the middle of our wreath frame, and we're just going to twist it really nice here. Pull it all the way through, and just make sure you get it the spot you want. I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna twist. Take my wire cutters and cut it. Now listen, if you've made it all the way through, I really appreciate it. If you haven't joined my wreath group, which is basically a crafting group of any kind of craft, um, join it. It's on Facebook and the link is down below. I do have other tutorials um, that I do. I have some that I sell and I have private groups for those. Would love to have you in one of those groups so that you can learn. I have angel wings if you're interested in learning that, but you have to buy the Christmas tree tutorial to join the Facebook group. So, here is a piece of mesh, or not mesh, but felt that I cut out. And so all I'm going to do is I just fold it over and then I make my little cuts and I use this with a glue. And I'm going to go through and just poke holes through there. And then you're just going to attach it to the wreath frame like this. And then you'll cut your zip tie and you'll just... Um, flip that zip tie over, but you'll go around and then it, you'll just hang it from the wire frame itself. So let's look at our pretty wreath. This should be able to go in between a um, storm door and a regular door. So, and the poly burlap is really nice for outdoor weather too. So if you made it this far, leave me, let's see, what kind of emoji do we want? Let's do a um, a winking smiley face emoji. I know I asked you guys to share emojis, but I just kind of like to kind of, I don't know, talk with you. And it's just a way of knowing that you watch my video and you support me and I appreciate you being here. 
I hope you like this video. I think this flower is really pretty. I think this would be pretty with so many different colors. Um, if you are interested in buying the navy blue poly burlap, I did purchase this from Trendy Tree. And I will leave my link for Trendy Tree below. Um, I also like to get some poly burlap from the reshop, and I will leave that link as well. Um, let's talk about how many petals are on this wreath. So as far as the petals, the number of petals, you're going to need to cut, I believe, almost one roll of the navy blue, if you're using navy blue. So whatever color you want this um, original um, start of your flower would be, that's kind of your predominant color. So you're going to need one roll. So just plan on cutting about 28 pieces of that. As far as the white, I believe I used 14 10 inch pieces of white and then of course we cut them in half. So um, you will need about a roll and a half of whatever colors you're going to use. You're going to, if you want to add the green leaves, it's really up to you. You're going to need a roll of this rope and um, I hope you guys like this. I really think it's pretty. It really um, feels summery to me and kind of feels kind of beachy to me as well. So if you've made it this far, remember to leave me that emoji in the comments. Make sure to subscribe, turn on that um, bell notification so you can watch all of my videos and we will see you next time in Julie's Wreath Boutique.